Entomopathogenic fungi, such as Bavaria bassiana and Metaresium brunium, are widely used as bioinsecticides to manage various kinds of pests, including thrips, whitefly, aphids, and different species of beetles. Different formulations and trade names of entomopathogenic fungi are available on the market. Some trade names of Bavaria bassiana that are available in Canada are Botanigard, Bioseries, and Velifer. Metaresium brunium is sold under the trade name Lalgard M52. Regardless of which formulation you choose, the product must have viable spores in order to infect targeted pests. Performing quality control checks of your biocontrol agents is an important part of ensuring successful pest management. Unfortunately, unlike predators, parasitoids, or even nematodes, you can't tell if entomopathogenic fungi are alive just by looking at them. This video will demonstrate an easy way that you can check entomopathogenic fungi products on your farm. Note that this method will only tell you if the product contains some viable spores. It will not guarantee that it will work as well as fresh product. You may want to check a product for viable spores if it has not been stored or shipped under ideal conditions. You can also test for the presence of spores in the substrate after drench or sprench applications to determine if it's still alive after a period of extreme heat. Since susceptibility to entomopathogens can vary between pest species, testing if the product contains live spores is an important troubleshooting step if you are not seeing efficacy. This will help you determine if the problem might be due to the product or the pest. Collect the materials required for the test. You will need paper towel or filter paper, a clean, shallow plastic container such as a petri dish or sandwich container, and live Galeria moth larvae. Galeria moth larvae are also called waxworms, and they're commonly sold at pet stores as food for reptiles. Galeria moth larvae are typically used for this test because they're very susceptible to infection by entomopathogens. Mix up a small volume of the product at label rate, or take a few ounces of prepared product from your spray tank if you're about to spray. Place two layers of filter paper or paper towel in the petri dish or sandwich container. Moisten the filter paper by evenly distributing a few milliliters of freshly prepared spray solution. Add 5 to 10 Galeria moth larvae on top of the moistened filter paper. Cover the petri dish and label it with the date, product name, and rate. If you're using a petri dish, place the dish inside of a loosely sealed plastic bag to retain moisture. If you're using an airtight container, poke a few small pinholes in the lid so the larvae can breathe. Repeat these steps to make three to five dishes to ensure you get a more reliable result. Keep the petri dishes in an incubator between 20 to 26 degrees Celsius for 7 to 10 days. If an incubator is not available, petri dishes can be stored in a safe place such as a drawer or cardboard box that has a room temperature between 20 to 26 degrees Celsius. After 7 to 10 days, fungal infection can be seen on the larvae. In the case of Bavaria bassiana, white powdery mold will cover the insect's body. When the insects are infected by Metaresium brunium, the mold will be an olive green color. If the larvae died due to other causes, such as starvation or bacteria, the cadaver will not be covered in mold and they will be soft and squishy. The method for testing the viability of entomopathogenic fungi in the soil is nearly the same as we would use for testing the product by itself. Instead of the paper towel moistened with the product, you will line the bottom of your container with substrate collected from your crop. Collect samples of substrate treated with the entomopathogenic fungi. You should collect multiple samples from different parts of the farm. Change gloves between samples to avoid cross-contamination. Place approximately 10 grams of sampled substrate in the petri dish. Follow the previously described steps to see if the larvae become infected. Entomopathogenic fungi play a crucial role for the management of many pest insects. However, they need to be alive to be effective. 
This Calaria moth test is an easy way that any grower can use to make sure their entomopathogenic fungi are alive and able to kill pests.